come to the sample collection site where we have to take our COVID test. And so uh, it's pretty gross. This is the kit and we have to actually, it's a saliva test. So we have to spit into these tubes and put it in a box. So it's pretty gross, but this is what it looks like. Amazing. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So you have to drop your, your saliva in a box of other saliva. It's actually really nasty. When you think of it, it's really, it's really gross. Like. Oh. Like I don't even want to see it, cause like that's it. See, they think that we think that, that the people overseas people are probably forgetting about this about the earthquake 10 years ago and but we are trying to still uh, let people know about what mm -hmm. happened and has, what has been happening in uh, in these areas and what do you think about this what we are trying this effort to uh, connect it to the Olympic and yeah. this I think that this exhibit is actually perfect because I'm embarrassed to say that I have forgotten you know about the earthquake because there's so many devastations that happen throughout the world yeah. and sometimes you forget about the people who are still uh, grieving or still dealing and building um, and I think this is a perfect um, homage to pay to those who, um, who were lost and to the families that are still in the area um, and a good reminder of um, what coming together can do. I like how the exhibits show how people help the people who come, came together and show that appreciation. And um, I think that there's still like more work to be done and we need to, need to continue to come together and support each other and that's the way it will go. But this is a great uh, exhibit. Good morning, everyone. It is July 28th. I'm about to head out to go see Nigeria play Germany. Main scene was supposed to come, but um, she needs to finish up on some work. The two of us, it's best for us to split up and try to get things done. So I'm gonna go to the game, and then after the game, I'm gonna go to the track and meet up with our athletes and see how they are faring um, with their upcoming competition this weekend starting on July 31st and so yeah so come along with me I'm gonna try to capture as much as I can and uh, if I don't please forgive you girl but let's go for an exciting day on our lonesome bye process is pretty cool. You um, order the charter taxi and then they come and they pick you up. And so now I'm headed over to the Super Arena. So, but again, so let's go.
We were given vouchers worth 10,000 yen, which is equivalent to 100 US dollars. In order to use it, we had to give our accreditation number plus the amount of the taxi. And of course, you didn't get changed, so if you didn't use the full 10,000, that was it. Okay, that, that taxi took a long time, that was like an hour, but I made it. Now I'm about to go inside. I don't think I'm going to stay long because I don't want to miss meeting with the team. This is really an adventure for like an hour's worth of time, but I'm needy, so we have a specific place we're supposed to go. So I'm headed there now. minutes left wasn't sure what time the shuttle was coming so I came down so that I didn't miss the shuttle because I rode the chart the charter taxi here and that was 14,000 14,000 and some odd, some odd yen and so they gave us a voucher so I was like I'm not trying to use all of my vouchers getting back to the MTM so I'm going to get on the free shuttle and and head back I only took the the charter taxi because I was running late cool experience to be able to walk in there. I, I, I did think at first that I um, was not allowed to go into the actual uh, floor where, the, where, where they were playing and that we had to stay in the press work area, but I didn't. Um, I actually went inside and you know you saw that there that I was sitting within the seats. So I'm gonna head back now and head to the Olympic Village uh, track uh, just to check out Liberia's athletes and see how they're faring and um, try to get them to answer some questions that some of the fans have asked on um, Instagram and we'll post that later today. So I'm probably going to get a nap in because this is about to be like an hour ride and I didn't sleep last night. Not really good because I was up working but this is Wednesday, my day eight in Tokyo. So I did not make it back in time to get on the shuttle to get to the team. Terrible, I know. I'm at the main press center and I'm going to run after some things that I gotta run after and then get some lunch and then head back to the tail and start all over again tomorrow. Janelle was busy at the counter <laughs> and there's a photographer standing there and he said, you, go and stand near her. Mm -hmm. I said, why? And he goes, you're here. You're here. Yeah, the, the crazy thing. <laughs> I know whose hair is best. <laughs> well, I'm here in the main press centre at the Tokyo Olympic Games with Janelle Addy from Liberia. Uh, Janelle, I've got to say, I saw you taking a photo outside. You've got the most amazing hair. You've got this outrageous outfit. And I thought, there's a kindred spirit. <laughs> Yes. Thank you so much, Casey. <laughs> Tell me about Liberia. How big is the team? It must be one of the smallest teams here in Tokyo. Right, so Liberia is a team of three athletes. Rise and shine, good morning. Konnichiwa. We're headed to uh, the escorted tour for media because we are in our 14 days. Not fraternized with the Japanese people, so they still want us to have a cultural aspect and um, they scheduled tours for us to go on. And so, we're gonna go see the Olympic Cauldron um, this morning, and then from there, 
probably get something to eat because it's um, probably gonna be too. We gotta we gotta get there so that we don't miss the the shuttle and then we have a surprise a little later. So yeah, maintains engaged in the phone, but you know we move. So we're at the Olympic Cauldron. This is where they threw the torch and they moved it from inside the stadium to this plaza here. It doesn't look as big as what it looked like on TV. Um, and it's extremely hot. It's very warm. Like the heat emitting from this thing is very, very, very warm. But um, it's pretty cool. And the sun's coming out, so I'm gonna try to get some other shots. Cauldron now and heading back to the main press center. Um, about a 30 minute tour, uh, wasn't too bad. And yeah, we just got up and close to the fire and uh, felt some heat in Tokyo Sun. Many more years of Liberian performance and life. God bless y'all. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna I'm a reach across. Yeah. Cheers, cheers. We're coming for the lion. Yay! Y'all heard that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. You thank the athletes, thank Liberia for inspiring me. You know, like if I did, I think if I didn't go on this trip, the uniform wouldn't be the same. Uh, my life wouldn't be the same. <laughs> Things to be thankful. We are in Tokyo having a great time. We just finished up. One really cool thing about the charter taxi is that they have a translator. We are headed now, finally, to go see the team. Well, I think it's only Joseph that, that is uh, practicing today. But gonna go and ask them some questions, and um, we're here at the stadium, and gonna take some shots of, some, of different places. And get ready, because Liberia starts running tomorrow. Thank you for watching part three of my Japan vlog. Make sure to stay tuned in for more vlogs coming. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.